The storm made a mess on the midway tonight at the state fair. Bye bye. Bye bye trash bins. Cindy sent us this video of garbage bins floating through the flooded fair. Our Kirsten Mitchell rode out tonight's storm at the fairgrounds and she joins us now. It looked pretty intense, Kirsten. Yeah, it was quite intense for about an hour, Amelia. These streets were flooded, debris flying everywhere. You can see there's still some down leaves here, some trash, so there will be some cleanup here to do tonight and tomorrow. They're still out assessing. Now, this all started really around 6 p.m. tonight. That's when the fair announced that this grandstand show tonight, the Happy Together Tour, would be delayed. Lots of folks had just arrived to the fair for the show and were waiting outside. That concert ended up being canceled entirely. Then, around 7 p.m., we noticed rides were shutting down and some vendors tried to shut down their booths to protect all their things. And just 15 minutes later, fairgoers heard this. Fairgoers, a large storm is approaching. We're going to ask you to seek shelter at this time. That was the alert coming from law enforcement telling people to seek shelter in one of the fair's six emergency storm shelters. The sky over the mighty midway got real dark real fast and the wind really picked up blowing dirt around as some people ran to shelter in the grandstand and then it poured really hard. Lots of lightning too. Most people were able to get out of the rain as the streets flooded. We met one family huddling under our WCCO building awning who were taking it in stride. This is lovely, well, yeah, they're half Irish, so they're well used to the rain, so they're not afraid. They play a bit of hurling. There's like a waterfall, like right there. The only nice thing is it's not hot at this moment. That is one silver lining that we are all enjoying. Now the fair is open until 11 tonight and some vendors did reopen after the storm. There are some people here still trying to seize whatever they can of this day at the fair. And as for that grandstand concert, if you did buy tickets, the state fair says to check your email about a refund. Otherwise, if you bought in cash, you're asked to call the state fair ticket office. But surely with the heat, the storms, it was a day to remember. Frank. No kidding. Yeah. All right, Kirsten, thank you. Oh, you're going to remember it wherever you were, like here in downtown. The rain and wind were whipping in downtown Minneapolis. This was uh, Nicollet Mall earlier this evening, just as the storm began. And here we want to show you a time lapse of the storm as it came through downtown. The skies at your home probably turned several dark, ominous colors like they did there as well. Then the rain came, and if you stay and wait for it here for a second, you'll see the sky eventually right there start to open up as that storm started to pass. Check out this stunning sight, a rainbow over downtown Minneapolis with some amazing flashes of lightning in the background. And the twins tweeted out a very similar image with the caption, Baseball Skies, after they went through a rain delay of about 45 minutes this evening. Mother Nature showing off in Richfield, too. Our photojournalist Tom Avillis captured this dazzling display. As you can see, not only the rainbow, but in the foreground, there are a number of trees that went down in that area as well. We've been seeing so many great storm photos from you. Please share them if you can. When it's safe, just send them to us anytime at WCCO.com slash photos.